Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplay, and welcome to, obviously, a tier ranking video. So, a few months ago, What Culture put out a video on who really, like, doing, like, a head count of who really has the most world championships. Um, obviously being Ric Flair with 22. And, obviously, I've watched a lot of What Culture, or, uh, Cultaholic, and they've done... Uh, a lot of tier ranking videos like this where they rank several different uh, subjects into the best, lovely, 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 all right, just well bearable, and get in the bin. I'm not very creative on what to name them, so I'm just copying their format. So, one is considered a world title. Well, basically just whatever what culture had first. Um, and I just took those titles, and there are 20 in total. There is the Triple A Mega Championship, the AEW World Championship, the All Japan Pro Wrestling Triple Crown, the AWA World Championship, the CMLL World Heavyweight Championship, the ECW before 2001, before they got bought by WWE, the ECW World Championship, the GHC Heavyweight Championship, the Impact World Title, the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship, the NWA Intercontinental Championship, the NWA World Championship, the NXT Championship, the PWF Heavyweight Championship, or the Intercontinental Championship, I think it's a, a heavyweight, the PWG World Championship, the Ring of Honor Championship, the Universal Title, the UWA, WCW, and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the Big Gold Belt. So there are 20 in total. I'm really hoping this video does not go on for a very long time. So today I'm just ranking them just purely on uh, the champions. Um, and like their title history. I plan on doing more tier ranking videos where it's more about the belt designs for different promotions. So stay tuned for that, and before we get started, make sure to drop a like on this video if you want to see uh, more videos like this. I would be more than happy to do them. Um, I think it would just be interesting, at least just from my opinion, where where all these world championships um, rank amongst each other. So we will start first with the. Triple A Championship, the Triple A Mega Championship. Hold on, I just gotta take a look here. I think my microphone still might be a little too loud, so we'll knock it down just a tad. Like that peak was real high. Um, anyway, as we take a look at the Triple A Championship, again, I don't know a lot about uh, non-American championships, but uh, given the AAA championship, um, there has only been 11 champions that have held that title, and or individuals, I should say. And it's quite a who's who. So we got El Toxico, El Toxano Jr., El Messias, Dr. Wagner Jr., Kenny Omega, Phoenix, Jeff Jarrett, Alberto, El Patron, Johnny Mundo, Cybernetico. Excuse me, I probably did not pronounce that correctly. El Zorro and Electroshock. Um, obviously, the big names that I'm aware of are Kenny Omega, Phoenix, Jeff Jarrett, Alberto, and Johnny Mundo. So that is at least five of them right there. Um, out of 11, um, just looking at Wikipedia, best source for anything. Um, every champion has at least one successful title defense, except for Electroshock. And every champion has held on to the title for more than uh, 100 days, except, again, for Electroshock. So, I'm going to honestly put the AAA Mega Championship in the best for right now. Again, we're just starting off here, so... Um, everything is subject to change. So, next is the AEW World Championship, and obviously I don't need to look that up. Um, 
Chris Jericho, John Moxley, and Kenny Omega. I'll be honest, I just started watching, or I, since this whole new relationship between Impact and AEW, I did watch AEW this past week, and it's currently uh, December 13th, so it was uh, the 9th or 8th or something, the 9th. Um, I, I don't know, when I first heard that Jericho was the first AEW champion, I thought, okay, interesting that they went with a veteran as opposed to a younger talent. Um, but, I mean, Jericho knocked it out of the park with the whole Le Champion thing. He, he killed it. Um, Moxley did a phenomenal job as the AEW champion from what I understand. And Omega literally has been champion for two weeks, but he's already crossing borders into impact. So I'm just going to put it in the best for right now. And the same thing with um, like what cultaholic does. Like if there's already like say the best tier is already getting way too full that we or that I'll go through with them individually and see which one ranks higher out of them. So next is the A is the All Japan Triple Crown Championship. There has been 28 individuals who have held that title. Oh boy. There's only a handful that I am aware of. Um, Stan Hansen, Minoru Suzuki, they're just names that I've heard of, Kenzo Kobashi, Akibono, Joe Doring, who is now in Impact, um, Vader, C. Williams, wait, is this literally the same Zeus that just passed away? No, okay, <laughs> that had been very odd, and then Terry Gorey, isn't Gordy. Um, looking at the stats here, all but three have held one successful defense, and uh, about seven or eight had less than 100 days as champion. Um, and a lot of defenses, every champion. Or no, Reigns, sorry. Um, just Vader alone, like you know that he was extremely underutilized in WWE. Um, and same with Stan Hansen, just extremely underutilized in WWE. And then they smashed it in Japan and um, WCW. I don't even. I think Stan Hansen was in WCW, but um. I might, I might just put this in lovely, lovely, lovely for right now. Um, the AW, the All Japan Triple Crown. We'll put that in lovely, lovely, lovely for right now. Next is the AWA World Championship. There's only been 18 individuals who have held that title. Um... Again, just legendary names in wrestling. Vern Gagne, Nick Bockwinkle, Mad Dog Vashon, Larry Zabisco, Rick Martel, Kurt Henning, Jerry Lawler, Stan Hansen, Pat O'Connor, Fritz Von Erich, um, apparently Hulk Hogan, which I don't know why Hulk Hogan's a little iffy. Hulk Hogan defeated Nick Bockwinkle with both parties using a foreign object during the matches declared by the referee was, wait, and is declared by the referee as champion. Bockwinkle, so wait, Hogan wasn't champ, championship changes unrecognized by the AWA, Hulk Hogan, interesting, um, Again, another who's who. 
So I'm tempted just to put the AWA Championship in lovey, lovey, lovey right now. It's probably going to change. All right, next is the CMLL. Oop, wait a minute. Let me get back to the right tab here. There's the CMLL Championship. 16 individuals. Uh, Ultimo Guerrero is the current champion. I feel like I've heard that name before. Um, people I have never heard of before in CMLL. Um, doesn't have uh, title defenses, but uh, every champion's held it for over a hundred days. So that's pretty good. Um, however, most of the champions here are mostly in their first range. There's only been three people who have held it more than once. So that's pretty good prestige right there. But it, um, it, to me, it almost has like a new Japan feel to it. So, um, hmm. For the CMLL championship, I might go with, I might go with lovely, lovely, lovely right now. All right, next is the ECW championship, which is going to be a whole bag of worms here. Oh, boy. I'm trying to just exclude the ECW one, so that'd be Jackson. That'd be Jackson, Van Dam, Mr. McMahon, uh, Tommy's second reign, Christian... Lashley, Big Show, Punk, Hardy, Swagger, uh, Johnny, John Morrison, Chavo, <laughs> Kane. Oh boy, I completely forgot Kane was ECW champion. Um, obviously, it really depends on how you look at it. Um, Shane Douglas, obviously, the infamous moment where he threw down the NWA championship to clear the. ECW Championship, Sandman killed it in the original incarnation of the promotion. Same with Raven and Taz, uh, Terry Funk, Mike Awesome, uh, Don Morocco. Just Incredible was like nearing the end of the original run for ECW. He was champion. Again, I'm just glossing over the um, e the WWE ECW champions. Rhino. Again, he was nearing the end of ECW, the original run. Uh, Sabu, Snuka, Johnny Hotbody, uh, Steve Carino. I think he was also nearing the end of the original run, Steve Carino. Yeah, we're not going to talk about Mr. McMahon. Um, Tommy. A lot of big names here, but I he really can't help but look at, and again, I really have to like exclude the WWE ECW. Um, so I'm just I I'm just trying to like put some negative into it. I guess I don't know why. Um. So, Tommy Dreamer, I believe he's said in an interview before where he did not ever want to be champion in any promotion that he's worked for. Um, so, in Tommy's first reign as ECW champion in the original ECW, I think he beat Raven. Did he beat Raven? I, yeah, he beat, oh, he beat Taz for the title. And then he immediately dropped it the next day or something. Um, so that's already kind of a damper. I mean, Tommy is the heart and soul of ECW still. Um, 
and then just the dying days of ECW. Um, and then the whole thing with Taz and Shane Douglas, where, or uh, Mike Awesome, I mean, Mike was WCW, Taz was WWE, that whole thing. So, um, I'm, I'm tend to put the ECW championship in all right. I really hate to do that, but I think I'm going to for right now. Um, okay, next is the GHC Championship. I forget what promotion this is for. Oh, Press, Pro Wrestling Noah. Uh, 19 individuals. Um, combined reigns, only three of them. Did not hold it for 100 days, and everyone's had at least one successful title defense except for Yoshiro Tak Takayama. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, the only ones I'm aware of are, I thought Keno, but I don't know. I don't. I've never heard of him. Kenta, Minoru Suzuki, and Eddie Edwards. Um, Takahashi Sugira four reigns 23 defenses for a thousand days that's phenomenal um, again I don't really know this isn't really fair. I don't know much about Japanese wrestling, so I'm going to put it in lovely, lovely, lovely for right now. Oh, boy. A bag of worms now for the Impact Championship. A lot of big names, some good, some bad for the Impact Championship, the TNA Impact Championship. So we got... Angle, Lashley, Aries, Rude, Sting, Hardy, Styles, Bully, John Morrison, Nitro, Impact, Joe, Cage, Tessa, Eli Drake, Eric Young, Magnus, Eddie, Van Dam, EC3, the whole, it goes on. Um, and this is the, and I'm starting to become a fan of Impact, and the one thing I absolutely hate about them is that they put the title on somebody who is coming in hot with a lot of momentum and everything. It's like it doesn't matter what their um, attitude is backstage or whatever. It's just that it, they just immediately put titles on everyone. And I, I hate that about Impact. And they still do it. I hate it. Um, God, when you think of Impact and World Champions, you immediately think of AJ, Jeff, Sting... Uh, Bobby Roode. Um, or at least think it when you think of TNA and Impact, then you think of Eric Young, uh, James Storm. A lot of originals, a lot of TNA originals. Um, obviously, Lashley had that whole. Uh, championship collector like where he held every single championship in, in a TNA um, Sting Jeff Hardy <sighs> Jeff Hardy yeah because he had customized belts every time and obviously there was that whole I mean it wasn't when he was champion I was going to say that well the whole immortal thing um, I was going to say the whole Victory Road 2011 incident. Um, Brian Cage. I didn't even think he held the title for that long. Cause wait, who did who did Cage beat for it? Didn't he beat um? Yeah, he beat John Morrison for the title. Wow. Yeah, Brian Cage held the. Impact title 
but I didn't even think, um, I didn't think he held it for that long. He held it for 180 days. I didn't even think he held it for that long. Um, so that tells me his history, um, which is not very memorable to me. Um, Magnus went on a hell of a run with the title. Bobby Roode did too. Uh, Eric Young did great work with the title, at least for his last run. Rich Swan's doing pretty well. Alberto, ugh. Pentagon, ugh. Um, Tessa, ugh. Um, Sammy Callahan, his reign was way too short, I think. Because he won it from Brian Cage in a steel cage. Um, and then he dropped it to Tessa. And then that was... That was bad. So... As much as it's got a lot of ups, it's also got a lot of downs. The Impact Championship. So, I'm going to put it at all right. Unfortunately. Next is the IWGP Championship. 30 individuals have held on to have won the title. Obviously, Okada, Tanahashi, Muda, Fujinami, um, Vader, Nakamura, Antonio Noki, Tetsuya Naito, AJ, Lesnar, Omega, um, Jay White. Just really a who's who in professional wrestling, no matter what era that you step in. Um, just, I don't think they've ever had a really, I don't think they've ever had a bad champion. There's four individuals here who have held it once. And they've accumulated less than forty day, less than fifty days in their reign, with zero defenses. Um, but otherwise, just you know that you can immediately name a handful of people who have won the IWGP Championship. So I'm going to put it in the best. And now we go to the WWE Championship. Fifty-one people, according at least to WWE, have held the title. Well, minus two, Ted DiBiase and Antonio Noki. Uh, do I really even need to list off WWE champions? I don't think I really need to. Um, so I'm instead I'm going to look at the 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 negatives of the WWE championship. Um, Bob Backlund's second reign. Uh, um, let's see. Randy Orton never had a bad run with the WWE title, I don't think. I think the only one, like, his world title runs, all of them were good, except for, I mean, the only blemish being that he won it from Benoit, but that's not Randy's fault. Um, Brett with the Montreal screw job, Triple H. Punk's reign. Shawn Michaels, again, the Montreal screw job. Um, Yokozuna with the salt in the eyes with Hogan at Mania 9. Um, Jinder. Miz. Jinder and Miz are about the only blemishes right now for the WWE Championship. Um, Del Rio. I didn't, even th I didn't even know he was a two-time WWE Champion. I'll be honest. Because he won the title cashing in on Punk. And then did he win it in between that to dropping it back to Punk at Survivor Series? Wait, when did... Yeah, he won it at SummerSlam. Oh, then he dropped it to Cena. 
at Night of Champions, and then he won it back at Hell in a Cell, and then he dropped it to Punk. Oh, okay. So, Del Rio, eh. Ambrose, unfortunately not real great. Uh, Wyatt, Mankind, as memorable as I'll get out. Jeff Hardy, that triple threat match with Edge and um, Triple H. Van Dam, also very memorable, but some famously very short as well. Um, Kane, Ray, and Andre. God. Um, and then uh, Flair, Flair's two time also. I don't. I didn't know that he won the title at the ninety two Rumble. Wow, I didn't think he won it twice. Um. So for the WWE Championship, do I dare put it in the best? There's a lot of negatives. I mean, not a lot, but there's a quite a few blemishes with the WWE Championship. Um, so I'm tempted to put it, I'm going to put it in the top of the best or the lovely, lovely, lovely. It might get moved up to the best. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, so I need to take a quick break while I pull up the stats for the other 10 championships I have to go through still. And I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So now I got the second half of this video ready. Um, pull up the championships. So next is the NWA. I thought it was Intercontinental. It's actually the NWA International Heavyweight Championship. Um, only 11 people have held it. I've had uh, some had more reigns than others. Um, Giant Baba, Bruiser Brody, Luthez, Dory Fong, Stan Hansen, Bruce Ray, Gene Kinitsky, and Baba Brazil are the only ones that uh, stand that come to mind for me. Um, given four of them have held the title for over a thousand days. Uh, that's crazy. Um, so. That's yeah, that's crazy. But um, there's only 11 people have held the title, and oh, it is retired. It was established in '57 and ran to '89. Only 11 people have held it, though. Wow, um, that's not a lot of people. <laughs> um, but with impressive reigns. One of them, or four of them, rather, have been under 100 days. Um, but only one, two, one, two, three, four, five people have held it more than once. Um, I'm tempted to put this in maybe just about bearable. The NWA International Championship. Speaking of NWA, we'll now go to the NWA World Championship, and boy, howdy, there are 53 individuals who have held the title, and of course, some of them uh, was during ECW and then uh, the beginnings of NWA TNA. So, uh, Luthez, Ric Flair, Harley Race, Dory Funk, Dan Sovereign, uh, Adam Pierce. I don't know, I only know him, contemporary. Rather contemporary from there to be. Uh, Nick Aldis, Jeff Jarrett, Pat O'Connor, Jack Briscoe, Buddy Rogers, Rob Conway. Wow, okay. Uh, Terry Funk, Christian Cage, Christian Sting, AJ, Steve Carino, Colt Cabana, Barry Windham. I know the name. Oh, I'm wow. I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking. Is that somebody that's related to IRS and the Wyatt and Brain uh, Bo, but they're Rotunda. 
excuse me. Uh, Ron Killings, Dusty. There's a lot of names that you can just spit off the top of your head for being uh, NWA champion. Um, just like the IWGP Championship, it's a very prestigious title. Um, so I'm going to put the NWA Championship in the best. Next, we move on to the NXT Championship. And I know my battery's starting to die on my computer. Um, again, another who's who of WWE's developmental history. Uh, Adam Cole, Finn, a Neville, or Pac, Bo Dallas, Champa, Rude, Big E. Um, the only ones, again, another one where you got to think about uh, any kind of blemishes with the title. Um... I honestly can't think of any. Um, besides Sammy being extremely short reign, but of course they jump started that feud with him and Kevin Owens. Um, so many memorable moments and matches for the NXT Championship. So obviously the latest big one being Keith Lee winning the title. I would say Balor winning it again, surprisingly, but um, Keith Lee winning the NXT North America and the NXT Championship. So I'm going to put the NXT title in the best. Next is the PWF Championship, held by only nine individuals, and only Giant Baba and Stan Hansen being held in the title for more than, or for four reigns. Um, this is for what promotion? Pacific Wrestling Federation. Um... Giant Baba, St. Hansen, Abdullah Butcher, Harley Race, the only people I know. Um, nine. And I'll, of course, only two of them held it more than once. I'm going to put it in maybe about bearable. I hate to do that. I might just put it in just about bearable. I put it with the NWA IC. Oops. Uh, none in the bin yet. Uh, and I honestly don't think we uh, there's one potential one that we might get to. All right, the PWG Championship. Adam Cole, Zack Sabre, Kevin Owens, Roderick Strong, Jeff Cobb, Chris Hero, Joey Ryan, uh, El Generico, Kazarian, uh, Cesaro, Kyle, Riley, Davey Richards, Walter. Again, another who's who of modern wrestling. Um, do I dare? Oh man, do I put it in the top? Wait, do I put it with the best or do I put it at? I'm either gonna put it at the bottom of the best or top and lovely, lovely, lovely next to the WWE championship, though. Oh boy. For the PWG. Wow. Um, it's so on par with the NXT Championship. Uh, put it there on top of the WWE Championship. Um, Ring of Honor. Jay Lethal, Joe, Nigel, Dana, Bryan, Cole, Aries, Briscoe. I kept seeing Rush, and I thought it was Leo Rush. Kevin Owens, Dave Richards, uh, Seth Rollins, Dalton Castle, Strong, Roderick Strong. Um, Cody Rhodes. Oh, duh, yeah, he, yeah, that's right, because he had the whole actual, like, ring of honor. Um, Christopher Daniels, Eddie Edwards, PCO, Elgin. Um, again, another who's who. You got to put it with the PWG and the NXT Championship. Um, I honestly can't. Just, just by name recognition alone. Um, I'm going to have to put it. I'm going to put it next to the PWG Championship. Oh, 
and now we go to the universal title. <laughs> uh, Brock, Kevin, Rollins, Reigns, Strowman, Fiend, Goldberg, Balor. Uh, Balor's a travesty, um, again, unfortunately. Lesnar, he showed up whenever he felt like it, let's be honest. Let's call the kettle black here. Um, Kevin Owens' reign, again, ending to Strowman, that was kind of a yeah, yeah, not great. Same with The Fiend. Seems like the only namesake for the title right now is Roman Reigns. He's making it. Like, he's the only person that's being able to hold that title high and make it worth something. Um, so... I think we're going to put it in the bottom of just about bearable. Or maybe get in the bin. No, I'm putting it in the bin. The only namesake is Roman. I'm just... The UWA Championship. 17 people. Um, I know nobody of these people except for Vader, Luthez, Antonio Inoki, Tatsumi Fujinami. Um... This is for the United Wrestling Alliance? Wrestling Association. Um, again, Tony Inoki is just another big name. Same with Vader and Luthez. Um, I don't know these people all that well. Um, so I might put it in the... I'm going to put it in all right just because I'm really um, indifferent. So now we move on to the WCW Championship. So we got Hogan, Flair, Vader, Booker T, Sting, Luger, Goldberg, Ron Simmons, Steiner, Big Show. Um, honestly, the only negative is Arquette um, and Benoit. Oh, Arquette, Ru Arquette Russo, and Benoit. Um, I'm not even going to count Kurt Angle because that was during the whole invasion thing, but for actual WCW, um, was Bret Hart's career ended from the super kick from Goldberg? Wasn't that in the WCW match title match? Maybe not. Um, but I can't help but think of Hogan, Hogan Nash, um, Jarrett, um, and all of them, like, just saying about the whole NWO thing, that they just ran the whole company, and the title was more, nothing more than a prop, um, I might, I might put it in the top of the, I might put it in the bottom of the best. I think. I think I'm going to do that. Bottom of the best. And now we go to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold belt. Um, again, another who's who. The only drawbacks I see are... Del Rio's reigns honestly weren't that bad compared to his WWE reign. His reigns. Um, Benoit was memorable. Um, the only drawbacks, again, I see are... Wait, Big Show was a two-time World Heavyweight Champion? Really? Uh, again, the only drawbacks I see are Kali and Ziggler. Um, I, I don't remember Big Show being a two-time champion. Huh. That's weird. Um, for the big gold belt in WWE... I think I'm going to put it lovely, lovely, lovely. But 
do I put it before the WWE Championship? I think I I think I am. All right, and because I don't have my battery is gonna die. Um. So for the best, I got the AAA Championship, the AEW, IWGP, NWA, NXT, and the WCW title. Um. I think we got to put the IWGP higher. Um, oh, boy. I think AEW has got to go at the bottom. Um, NXT. NWA. And I think WCW. Then we got PWG, Ring of Honor, WWE Big Gold Belt, WWE Championship, the Triple Crown from All Japan, AWA, CMLL, and uh, I'm trying to blank on what that is. Um, I think that's about correct. In the All Right, ECW, Impact, and the UWA. The UWA is just, I don't know anything about it, so I'm putting it at the bottom of All Right. About bearable, the PWF and the IWA championships, international heavyweight in the world, and getting the Ben Universal. I think that's pretty self explanatory. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my tier ranking of every world championship across several promotions. Um, oh, wait, let me. Sorry, I didn't realize I was blocking the CMLL and the other. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a marathon of a video. It is 42 minutes long, and I apologize. Um, There's just a lot of history to go through and everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, again, make sure to drop a like on it. Um, stay in tune with possibly more videos.